Gig workers, gig workers. Have you guys received your $20,000 yet from the SBA? This is $20,832 to be exact. Today is your stimulus update for all of you who commented on my YouTube channel. I have exclusive answers. I have the exclusive institution that could get you these funds in three business days. There are no credit checks to get this done. In three business days, you could see $20,832 transferred over into the bank account of your choosing. So stay tuned because you do not want to miss out on this opportunity to capitalize on some free stimulus money. So let's get into those details. Welcome back YouTube. I am so happy to be here with you guys today. I'm bringing you guys your stimulus updates for all the gig workers out there who are trying to capitalize on $20,000, $20,832 to be exact. You're gig workers, so you guys are Uber drivers, you guys are Instacart workers, you guys are Airbnb managers, property managers, you guys are real estate agents, you guys are 1099s, you guys are independent contractors, okay? You guys have an opportunity right now to receive $20,832 from an institution that you can get it very quickly within three business days. Uh, this happens very quickly. And on today's video, I have live answers to your questions that you posted on my comments. So thank you guys so much for sharing your experiences. Thank you guys so much for sharing what's going on in different areas of the, of the country. So guys, I have answers to your questions like the differences between what if you're on PUA, the unemployment insurance, and the PPP loans and what to do and how you can capitalize on both of those options. Um, I also have uh, some confusion around EIDL grants, the EIDL loans and grants versus the PPP loans um, and what is actually free money, what's actually free grant money. And then I also have uh, information on how you guys could capitalize on the forgiveness of these loans. So technically your PPP eventually becomes free money. I'm gonna walk you guys through the portal we're gonna show you guys exactly all the steps on how you can get into that portal and accept your loan and DocuSign. And finally, um, I have a great announcement for all of you who uh, entered into subscriptions, all new subscribers, um, and a free giveaway. Uh, so stay tuned here. I'm gonna call out the winner of that free $50 Visa gift card that I'm bringing to you guys. Uh, pay it forward, guys, all right? It's time to get into your stimulus updates. But first, I want you guys to go down below, like, subscribe, leave your comments. Every thumbs up helps the algorithm for YouTube and it helps spread this message to other people who are hurting right now and suffering who need $20,000 to help advance their business. Sole proprietors who are, are unemployed right now, all these gig workers who are unemployed right now, I wanna bring you guys exclusives on how you can get this money fast. And by joining my channel, you guys are gonna get entered into the sweepstakes. So you guys will have an opportunity to win a $50 Visa gift card. So, all right, I'm not going to hesitate any longer. I want to get straight into these details. So let's get it going. I'd like to take us through a Q&A session here for a moment uh, because there's still a lot of confusion around what the PPP loan is. And a lot of people are still have a lot of confusions about the CARES Act and how they could capitalize on PPP, EIDL, and the unemployment insurance or all three or maybe just one or the other. So I just want to take the opportunity to read through some of your comments, uh, shout out to you guys for a moment, and give you guys a straight, direct answer so you guys have a better understanding of how this whole process works. Uh, so uh, We Profit asked, uh, do I need to file my 2019 taxes or could I use my 2018s for PPP? The answer is you need to use your 2019s. Uh, it's, it's already passed the deadline for the, uh, for the IRS anyhow, so unless you had that filed that extension, you're going to already want to have your 2019s prepared. So get your Schedule C 2019 prepared and get it, uh, use that to upload into the system to get that fast automated process. Hi, Nikita Hall and Cabby asked the questions about cabbage and how long the processing takes for cabbage. Now, if you've gone and you've accepted a PPP loan with cabbage and you DocuSign, uh, cabbage takes about three to five business days. So you, you will have to wait just a little bit longer, uh, wait that three to five business days. You'll also see the, receive a notification in your email suggesting that that funds are on the way. It'll get transferred into your bank account. Um, but the fastest institute that I've seen thus far is Bluevine. Bluevine, the second you go and DocuSign, and the second it says, congratulations, you've been awarded, boom, the money just shows up into your bank account instantaneously. It's like seconds later. So uh, if I were 
if I were recommending that you, you wanted a fast track, the fastest track, and again, I'm not sponsored by Cabbage, I'm not sponsored by Blue Vine, I'm just giving you guys testimony of what everybody else is that's been reporting to me that Blue Vine is, seems to be the fastest one right now. There still seems to be some confusion around what the idle grants are versus what the PPP loan is. Now, the EIDL, Economic Injury Disaster, is also a loan. Okay, that's a 30-year loan. It's at a 3.75 rate. The PPP, Paycheck Protection Program, is also a loan at 1% over five years. Um, the PPP is forgivable for sole proprietors. And then you're going to want to go through the forgiveness process because you can wipe that debt out completely. Now, if you are on the EIDL and you've already received the, the grant, the free money from the EIDL, that money will be deducted from your PPP loan. So let's say you got your sole proprietor, you got a $1,000 grant, free money from the idle loan, the free money grant. Um, then you would have uh, a, a minus $1,000 from whenever you've been approved for with your PPP. And again, guys, there's no fees and there are no credit checks for the PPP. All of this processing is completely free for the sole proprietors that are filing in their Schedule Cs on the automated process. So if, you, if you're looking for that $20,832, you're not going to be charged any transfer fees. Uh, you're not going to be charged any, any type of fees for processing that loan. And there won't be a credit check. It's important that you self-certify. That is essentially your credit check. A lot of people are asking about how to apply for loan forgiveness. When you're filing at the Schedule C and you're filing into a sole proprietor, Bluevine already sets you up with the proper form so that you can start the process because they're declaring this as your wages. Um, and so, you know, naturally it makes it much easier for you to just say you've paid yourself that money, the two and a half months of your own paycheck, and then you go and file for the uh, forgiveness once you've received your funds. You have a certain window of time that you have to get this done. So the Emanuel family is asking if you have to pay this back. And that depends. That depends on whether you're taking it as a loan. Um, but the forgiveness part of it is available if you're using it for your salary. So if you're paying your salary, you're paying your paycheck the two and a half months, then yes, it's forgivable. You're also forgivable for 40% of uh, operating expenses within this within this PPP program. Um, so stay tuned. I have other videos on, on the overall scope and overall terms and conditions of how you could get this thing taken care of. So it's free money. Now, a lot of people are asking about PUA and PPP. So they're asking, can I receive my PPP if I'm receiving PUA? Well, the answer is, if you if you receive your PPP and say you're already on unemployment insurance, the moment you receive your PPP and the moment you declare that as your paycheck protection, your PUA would stop. But since we know that PUA, unemployment insurance, ended on the 25th, the 31st of July, it was when it ended, so your last, your last $600 boost was on the 25th of this month. This is probably the best opportunity for you now to transition over to the PPP and capitalize on both of these programs. This is a great opportunity to do both of them. And then finally, with the idle grants, a lot of people are confusing, believing that if they apply for this $20,000, that there's a free $10,000 idle grant associated with PPP, and that is not true. They're completely separate. So your your idle your economic injury your economic injury disaster loan is a separate loan system from the SBA. So if you're a sole proprietor of one, you should only receive a thousand dollars. And again, that grant is not to be mistaken with what PPP is. The PPP is completely different. All right, guys, I want to take you guys over to the Blue Vine application process. This is so far the fastest process I've seen out there on the internet. Um, and you can get your funds within three business days or shorter. I mean, uh, at the longest I've seen, the longest I've seen processing on this loan is about 18 hours. Uh, so in less than a day, you can see your funds in your bank account. So, so let's get into those details now and uh, follow these steps along. Because if you follow these steps along with your Schedule C, it's the fastest track to get your funds within three business days. So, so let's get into those details right now. I can tell you guys one institution that will get you the money in three days. This is Blue Vine. Go and check them out. I am not sponsored in any way by Blue Vine. Go out and check out Blue Vine. Um, they have an automated system that will automatically process all Schedule Cs. What you're going to do is you're going to get your Schedule C prepared. Uh, figure out what that line 31 value is. Whatever that line 31 value is, divide that by 12 and then multiply it by two and a half. And that is exactly what you guys are going to qualify for under the PPP program. You're going to take that form. You're going to fill it out. 
And when you go to Bluevine's website, it's going to walk you through a series of Q and A's. Um, and it's going to ask you to upload your driver's license pictures front and back. And then it's going to ask you to upload your schedule C advance to the questions, click yes to the questions, you know, don't lie. Make sure you make sure you read the questions and click yes to the questions that are, that are applied. Um, but then you will qualify and it will advance you into their automated system. So as long as you have that schedule C uploaded and your driver's license uploaded, it's going to automatically process your application. Okay, once you submit the original series of questions to Bluevine, they're going to send you an email. That email is going to say, go to Bluevine, click this link, go to Bluevine to activate your account. You qualify for the Paycheck Protection Program. Within 12 hours, you're going to receive another email. This email says, here's a loan offer. Click here to receive your loan offer. So there's going to be another blue... There's going to be another blue link and it says accept my offer. You click on that link in your email and it's going to take you back to Bluevine and it's going to say, congratulations, you've been approved for this much money, right? However much money it was, maybe it's the $20,834 and it's going to say you have 60 months to pay this back. It's deferred for 10 months. Um, it's at 1%. Click here to accept and sign your loan documents. So you click there and it takes you to DocuSign. DocuSign lets you kind of uh, scroll your, your finger initials and scroll in your, your signature of your, uh, of your name, first and last name. You click finish and another screen pops up and says, congratulations, you've been approved. Just like that. So once you had your offer letter and you sign all those documents, you hit finish and boom. $20,834 is the maximum money you can see, and it's instantaneous. You're also going to get an email that says the same thing. So you're going to receive an email that says your funds are on the way. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've, I've, I've heard this from so many people that the three to five business days is like seconds. It, it happens instantaneously. As soon as you see that email, go check your bank account when it says your funds are on the way. You go and check your bank account. And I will be very surprised if you guys have feedback for me that says the money wasn't there uh, because so far, everybody that I've talked to, the money's there instantaneously. So uh, Blue Vine seems to be the fastest one. I know I said three days. Um, you know, maybe it's three, maybe it's three days if you have some things in your application that need uh, more clarification. A loan officer might, might uh, require some more information. Um, so you may have to work through some things. But if you have that Schedule C and you upload it into the automated system, this process is going to happen very quickly. So within, you know, almost 18 hours, you could be seeing $20,834. All right, guys, like and subscribe. If you need more details on this, leave comments down below. I'm going to answer the questions live on air, uh, live on YouTube. I want to bring you guys all the answers that uh, I've seen from all my clients and all my, all my friends and everybody that's gone through PPP. I've got a large network of uh, entrepreneurs that I work with daily. And these are the steps and testimonies that they've provided for me. So um, I hope you guys have uh, just as great a luck as they did. All right, guys, thank you so much for, for watching my video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna announce the winner of the $50 Visa gift card. So uh, this name is selected randomly from the last 100 subscribers. Uh, if you guys go down the descri description below, you can see how you can get entered into the sweepstakes. It's free to enter. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel. You'll be entered automatically. Uh, and we pull a random name from the uh, list of the most recent 100 uh, YouTubers. So uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Uh, today's winner is RJ Ely. So RJ Ely, thank you so much. You just won yourself a $50 Visa gift card. Um, I'll be reaching out to you shortly and tell you how you can retrieve that uh, $50, $50 Visa gift card. And to everybody else, uh, good luck in the future. When we reach the next 100 subscribers, uh, we'll be pulling another name out of that list. So stay tuned for the next win, guys. And remember to like and subscribe and share this message with others. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.